Hi and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and today we're going to be looking at a tank. I know I've said I'm not doing tanks and this is one that I've had. I've had it since before Vape Jam I think it was last year. So Not last year, earlier in this year. So I've had it a long, long time before I put a stop to everything. And because it's an Aspire Cleto-esque tank, I thought it was important to include just because I've looked at the other ones as well. So it kind of finishes things off nicely. Now then. Um, there is a redesign on this compared to the Cleto of old and it is actually TPD compliant even though it's a big tall monster. Um, so the TPD compliance comes in, for, in the fact that it's a 2 mil tank in its form when you buy it and we'll come to that when we when we look at things in a little bit more detail in a little while if you don't already know. Anyway, before any further ado, let's go up close and personal for a little tour around the Cleto Exo from Aspire. Come on then! Alrighty then, so here we are with the two different Cletos that I've got. The only reason they're different is the different colour. I'm showing you the stainless one just because I wanted to uh, show it to you so you know what it looked like. Uh, but I'm not going to be using that in this review purely because this is going into the charity raffle. What I am going to be using is the one that I've used a lot of thus far. So uh, we'll come to that in a second, but just looking around the packaging here, we've seen this kind of thing before when it comes to Aspire with the Cleto. Um, that long kind of uh, Perspex box going on there. We do have the nicotine warning in it this time um, as well as a little bit of information on that side and uh, a little bit on the back there as well as you scratch and sniff there as well for authenticity so a bunch of information but uh, if we do open this one up you can see that uh, I have been using this one which I will show you more in a second but under this little flap here we've got a bunch of information we have a warranty card going on there um, as well as a very very quick and easy how to use it what it's all about and all that sort of stuff going on there so a little a manuel for you now in here we do have a spare o-ring here we have a spare drip tip and in here is where a spare coil goes also underneath there you do see that it shows you kind of a little bit more information about the tank but uh, it's it's a super easy tank that's why this review is going to be a pretty quick review to be honest with you um, it's going to be something that not everybody's down with when it comes to looks wise but uh, I think it's quite uh, it's quite sort of uh, an attractive looking tank and I do like this kind of color as opposed to the straight stainless one this one for me just kind of finished it off a little bit this sort of rusty brown sort of vibe going on was very very cool indeed so let's have a little look at breaking it down the drip tip comes off and much like we've seen in the Cleto before I don't know if actual Cleto drip tips will uh, fit on here so if you do have a custom Cleto tip I don't know if that will work but uh, I will try and find that information out for you later now then underneath that over the top of there we do have a nice knurling along this top edge undoing that we will take off the top cap like so obviously holding on the drip tip you do have these nice big or this nice big o-ring going on right here as well now then taking that top cap off reveals the uh, the, the the big old coil they've got going in there at the moment and that's because this coil means that this is a 2 mil TPD compliant tank but we'll come to that in one moment now you will see on the outside here you do have these air holes now these are non adjustable and it does mean that the air comes through there comes down underneath and we'll look at the rest in a section in a, in a, sec a second even now then to get this section off this is held on by an o-ring so all you have to do is if you give the little uh, coil a little squish to the kind the, the sides there that top tank will come off nice and easily so what happens at this point is you'll notice that you do have this big old o-ring going on that means that the air goes down the side of this tank and it actually comes out underneath where it comes goes into the base of the coil and then travels through the chimney and away you go uh, now you will see as well that in that coil it's a big old coil on the inside there um, and that's one of the things I'm not a fan of I'm not a huge fan of this coil um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't really work for me overly well to be honest with you now then, if we zoom in a little bit on this one so you can see a little bit more about what we're looking at, you can see that this one is a 0.16 coil recommended for 60 to 100 watts. And once again, looking down that sort of core there, you can see that there is a really wide coil. I've not been able to measure it to identify exactly how wide the inner bore of that is. But uh, but yeah, it's a wide one. And I think personally, that is why I'm not a huge fan of this coil. It's because of that wide coil on the inside means that you're getting a lot more heat than you do flavour. Having 
having said that I've certainly used a lot worse and this is more than acceptable but one of the tricks of the trade on this one is just coming up now Okay, so right here what I have are some just regular Cleto replacement coils. Um, I bought these a little while ago and these are what I've been enjoying using more than anything else to be honest with you with this tank. And that's because not only are these coils, I mean these ones here are a uh, 0 0.2 as you can see there with that 55 to 70 watts. I've not really had the issue to go up much higher than that. But if I pop them side by side you'll see that the Cleto coil is actually much thinner. And that means that this tank is then converted to something like a 3.43.5 mil tank rather than the 2 mil. So you unscrew that coil like so. Pop that bad boy out of there. You pop your Cleto coil in. Make sure that's in there nice and snugly. Pop your tank section over the top. Obviously you'd make sure that you prime this coil by putting some juice in the coil itself. And then once you've done that, you just screw in on this top cap. Oh, I've got an, uh, seals come out there a little bit. Screwing on this top cap. Drip tip on. And away you go. That is now a three and a bit mil, three, three, nearly three and a half mil tank. And uh, and I really do much prefer the airflow going on with this one. And also, I think that the Cleto coils, particularly these ones, uh, do have a slightly thinner inner chamber or inner bore rather in the uh, in that coil there. So for me, I get more flavour out, uh, out of these bad boys than I do anything else. So I would strongly suggest the 0.2 or even I think they do a 0.4, which are also a very very good indeed. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime up this bad boy. In that, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime up this bad boy, and uh, then we'll go up top and have a vape. So that was the tour around the Cleto X. I've just realised that I think my <laughs> my colour is all kinds of messed up. I'll try and fix it in post production, but who, you know, who, who cares? Who can talk? Who cares? Anyway, so let's have a little talk about this Aspire Cleto. So I've put the um, the stock coil in it like I showed you in the up close and I'm rocking this now obviously I allowed plenty of time for it to get sort of all smothered in juice I actually did the review for this rebel mod underneath that um, in that time and let's have a little toot this is going through at 0 0.16 77.7 watts and let's have a toot It's fairly cloudy. I mean, that's at that cheeky little 77.7 .7 watts. Let's pop this up to a 88.8, .8, shall we? We've got to, <laughs> got to keep the numbers right. 88.8 .8 watts. Going at it now. Let's have a go. <laughs> that got me, that did. <coughs> anyway. That's actually a very, very pleasant vape. However, one of the problems that I've come across when you're using this device at high power is that top cap does get rather warm because it's directly connected to the coil itself. Obviously, the coil's hot and uh, that heat is coming through to the top cap, which is a bit of a shame. Um, personally, if I was to, uh, if I was to kind of be using this a lot more than I have, I would invest in getting one of these wonderful amounts of, uh, of drip tip makers that there are around now into making a custom kind of, either a custom Delrin or a wider acrylic drip tip for this. Sorry, had a bit of a cough then. But uh, yeah, a wider wider tip just to um, try and absorb a little bit more of that heat before it comes to your lips. But having said that, that is using the stock coil that comes with it. And whilst it's a very reasonable coil, like I say, for the flavour on this, I'm using um, Deja Voodoo from Wick Liquor, uh, which is a juice that I've used a hell of a lot in the past. I do know how it should taste. And uh, for me on this, it's okay. It's not mind blowing. It's okay. But that does change, in my opinion, when you do put in one of the Cleto coils, one of the regular Cleto coils. Like I say, the 0.2 are the ones that I've been using, and I've been having a jolly good time with them. And I can't get away from that fact it does help that it does increase your tank capacity to that 3.4 3.5 mil however i think it's a really nice vape now one of the other negatives on this is the non-adjustable airflow some people may not like that and the type of airflow that it gives you if i can try and give you some kind of comparison it's a restricted lung hit. It's a fairly open lung hit, but it is still restricted now then if i use my uh, my recoil it's 
it's quite similar to the recoil clouds bro clouds tip um as far as the air that's going in there um obviously you've got the certain sizes going on with the with the with the slits at the top there but um it's going to be dependent how much air goes through that coil in the middle there so once you put something like this or i, I i'm gonna have to check but i'll put it in the description i'm sure you can get a 0.4 coil which has a slightly smaller inner diameter of the uh, of the coil as well but i've been using the 0.2s and been having a great time with it um all in all i think it's an absolutely cracking little tank um i think if you're looking for an affordable sub ohm tank that's super easy that doesn't require any maintenance at all other than the occasional clean out um then i think that this could certainly be something that uh, that is a very strong contender in your arsenal the only thing that i would say though is maybe get a different drip tip because the heat up the top here is a little bit sucky particularly with this larger coil because you do have to put more juice going through it so just checking online there um at officialaspire.co.uk and the link will be down below um the cost is 23.99 for the stainless 24.99 for the black blue rainbow or bronze this is the bronze color and i do really like this color and also when it comes to coils the aspire cleto exo coils are 3.99 each is that each is that each let me just double check here. Let me just double check. I think that's each. $3.99 each, which is a bit angry. But having said that, if you're going to go for the Cleto coils, a five pack is £13.49. Now then, um, one of the things that I can tell you is that they have given me a code, which is VAP Biker 15, V A P Biker 15, um, which I, I imagine is going to give you 15% off. So if you are thinking about trying one of these, a nice, cheap, and cheerful tank that does a pretty darn good job then uh, why not crack over there and go and give them a look um but no all in all i think it's a little corker marvelous does a cracking job like i say my only downfall personally for me is the heat that comes off that top cap i would prefer i, I will be getting another uh, i will be getting another drip tip at some point in time but i've not managed to do it as yet but uh, no all in all i think this is a great little tank so a good one to add for the cleto um, product range i guess <laughs> anyway that's about it thank you very much for watching i've been dean the vaping biker i will put my subscription thingy down there and i will put a last couple of videos up there Thanks for watching and have it large!